What about when the original function has a local minimum or a local maximum? Well, think about this. As the original function decreases towards this local minimum, as the original decreases, the reciprocal is going to be increasing. And as the original function increases away from that minimum, as it increases, the reciprocal will be decreasing. So the reciprocal function is going to increase and then decrease and have a local maximum. Conversely, if the original function has a local maximum, then the reciprocal function has a local minimum. Let's try drawing the reciprocal of this graph. So, let's start with the y-intercept. The original function has a y-intercept at negative 1.75. Well, negative 1.75 is negative 7 on 4, because it's 1 and 3 quarters. So the reciprocal is going to be negative 4 sevenths. So it's going to cross about here. Um, not quite sure where to write my coordinate just yet. It's going to have uh, discontinuity. The original function is zero here, so the reciprocal is going to have discontinuities at these points. That is to say, there are going to be some asymptotes at those points. This is going to be an asymptote. And so is this. Um, it does tell me the, th the coordinates, so I can say x equals 3.5 is an asymptote, and x equals negative 0.5 is an asymptote. Um, what else do I know? Oh, what's the graph doing at those points? So, um, here the graph is getting very small but positive, so the reciprocal is going to be up here. Here it's getting very small but negative, the, graph's gonna, the reciprocal graph is going to be down here. Here, Pardon me, the graph is um, very small but negative, so the reciprocal is going to be here. And here the graph is very small but positive, so the reciprocal is going to be here. There's another asymptote here, as usual, across at x equals 0. Hmm. There we go. Uh, sorry, y equals 0. There's another asymptote. That's actually very hard for you to see. Um, y equals 0 is another asymptote. Because this graph goes off to infinity. So um, as it's getting very, very large, its reciprocal is going to be getting very, very small. Uh, same on this side. The graph's getting very, very large, so the reciprocal is getting very, very small. Uh, where do they cross over? As always, they're going to cross over where the original graph is 1, there and there. Now, I don't know the exact coordinates of those points, so I can't label them very precisely. Now, what about this local minimum? In the reciprocal graph, that's going to be a local maximum. The y-coordinate is negative 4, so the reciprocal is going to be negative a quarter, which is going to be here. There is going to be a local uh, maximum at 2, negative a quarter. That's the coordinate of this point here. Oh, and the graph is going to go over the original when it's equal to negative 1 on both sides. Now I should have enough information to be able to connect that up. It's going to come down here, through that point, and across to there. It's going to come up, oops, that was bad, not like that, up here, through that point, that point, over to the local maximum, back down again, 
down to here. Then it's going to come down through that point there where y equals 1. It's going to go across out to infinity there. Of which I would say this bit is probably not drawn well. Should have been more like that, not there. This bit is a closer match to the shape that I want on both sides. And there in pink is my reciprocal function 1 over f of x.